they're saying it's tripping the breaker inside. Um, let's just go ahead and start. We'll take the cover off and see if there's anything shorted out, anything obvious. And uh, let's see what we got here. Scroll of Titus. 404A. All right, let's see what we get here. Let's see. Taking this cover off, I noticed this bottle cap down here. Let's read it. What you're made of matters. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah, it does. Okay. Let's see. Wires come in on the top right there. Basic. Let's see. Compressor come off the bottom of the contact. We could check these to ground right here, all of these ones. I'll check them for a direct short. Okay, I wasn't getting anything shorted to ground here um, directly. So let's do the dirty deed and we'll throw the disconnect switch. We'll make sure all the wire connectors in there are tight and uh, get the screwdriver. And then we'll throw the switch and see how we make out. We'll check our incoming supply voltage too. All right, let's see what our voltage coming in is. Okay, now I got my fingers on there, so we're good. 237 volts, so that's good. Um, go ahead and check these. Make sure they're all tight. This disconnect's old as the moon right here. All right. You always want to close these, close these before you throw the knife. Let's see what happens. Nada. Oh, there it goes. It's going to do its three pump outs, right? Because of the control. We're going to pump out any liquid that's in our compressor. And then we should try and run. This one should be the money maker. see what the amps look like. Maybe he's got a bad breaker over there. Pulling 30, 38 amps right now. Whoa, holy shit. Is that right? That thing's got a load on her. Yeah, 40 amps. Pulling 31. That box must be hot. Oh yeah, liquid line super hot. See what shape that coil's in. Probably could use a washing. Let's see what size breaker that is. Um, it's supposed to have max fuse size 70 amp. 70 amp breaker for a hot day. It's pulling 38. It's a few amps over because the box is hot. And I wouldn't be surprised if that unit's overcharged a little bit. Let's go see what size breaker. Houston, we have a problem. 30 amp breakers. It's supposed to be, it says 70 for maximum. I'll have to talk, talk to Deke and see if he can get a 50 put in there. I know. From NorCal. This thing's over amping. If you needed to get it by, you could drive in your suction service valve and make it into like a crankcase pressure regulator. You can get it in and lower the amp draw to keep this thing running to get you by. But they're going to have the electrician come out and change the breaker. And uh, that's what's going to happen on this one. NorCal's tip of the day.